Hello friends, hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about even more Scarlet and Violet leaks and rumors. So if you don't want any spoilers, probably a good time to kind of turn this video off, go watch something else. But if you are intrigued and you are interested because lots has happened today, uh, stick around and we'll go through everything that has dropped. So first off, we're gonna be hopping over onto Twitter because Q, Riddler Q, has dropped a bunch of information today. For those of you that aren't right, really familiar with Riddler Ku, he is a synonymous leaker within the community. He leaked a lot of information about Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and pretty much all of the information that Ku leaked out prior to those games getting released was pretty much spot on so very reliable source pretty much most of the things that he does put out come to fruition so you the like i say they're pretty reliable now the first thing i want to touch upon today was something that wasn't really directly tweeted out by him but kind of dropped in a comment to something else that was mentioned so he kind of started the day off by saying uh want to play a stage riddle game again a new one is loaded coming soon someone else then reply to this initial tweet um riley uh saying hope you have a great day do you know if sprigatito will be bipedal or quadrupedal now that is is it gonna be on two legs or is it gonna be on four legs pretty much uh, layman's terms who comes back to this and confirms here that it stands up kind of confirming that it is going to be on two legs so this is pretty big now this has been a big kind of meme within the community already about it being a grass type incineroar pretty much and you can see here i mean i even tweeted out something this morning just as a, a bit of a meme um because we've got it in our kind of friend group you know uh, competitively is it going to be just a grass incineral? Um, and I think that's a kind of common trend that's been going around the community. So it does seem like it's it going to be at least on two legs rather than four legs. It doesn't mean to say that it can't have four legs, but for the most part, it will stand up. Um, so kind of indicating that it will be on two legs. So we'll see what comes of it. Sprigatito's final evolution. I'm interested to see the final evo, but we've had a bunch of really cool fine art. This is one that I really did like the look of. It was put up by Kai that he put together uh, of what his idea of uh, the, the final evo of Sprigatito would look like. Now, something like this would be really cool. It looks a bit more like Musketeer-like rather than Incineroar, but you, you, you're you going to get the memes of Incineroar. Of course you are. Uh, Sprigatito looks a lot like Litten and... Um, if it stands on two legs like Incineroar does that you can see how it gets to that point but big information for us here seeing that it does stand up and it is going to be on two legs for the most part so that's where we're kicking off with today and then Ku as I say has been very busy in the last video that we covered with our leaks and updates we covered a bit about Smolov and its potential kind of typings when it does evolve uh, it obviously is a grass and normal type as it's kind of confirmed form as that small of uh, but we don't know as of yet what it's it's final evo typing will be there's a lot of kind of rumors theories about it being a grass fire type or other typings if it does evolve but there is a chance that it just does stay grass normal so we'll have to wait and see we haven't had any concrete information around its type in just yet so this was the tweet that Koo put out uh who would you rather uh we'll drop something about the winner and he put a poll up and small have won that so today he put up the information the the kind of the riddle the hint about the leaks about small of's evolution so this is the the tweet that Koo put out uh, you can see it's a big olive wreath here with green olives on it, um, a big circle here, circle in the black olives, um, and then some other olive branches around it. Now with some Chinese text here as well, and then obviously the big shout out to Centro, like he likes to do. Uh, but if we look at a, a tweet that Dion put out, he translated the Chinese text there. So you can see it says, see chicken with five eggs female and then that kind of points down to the black olives so you can there's a lot of responses to this tweet of course um there is the the wreath is the big thing the female the chicken kind of reference to it as well the rooster uh rooster is a big part of kind of spanish and portuguese culture where we know these games are based um so there is references there and the eggs obviously are kind of referring to the five olives which are circled there so you would imagine 
it's going to be a uh, I would, in my head at least, it's going to be a, an olive wreath with, with five black olives, which will be kind of black smolives, I guess. Um, because when you think about it, uh, an olive, when it ripens, it turns black or blackens. Um, so it would make sense for the evolution, the final stage of this Pokemon to have those olives in their most ripened stage, which is the black. Now, it, it kind of leaves a lot of questions open. Does it only evolve into a female? Form. So is it going to be something like Salandit um, in Combi where only the female variation of these Pokemon does evolve? Um, or is it going to be something like the Ralsline where it's going to have a split Evo? There's still a lot of questions up in the air about this. You know, I, in my opinion, I think we'll probably get something more along the lines of a Ralsline where we'll have a female evolution and a male evolution. There's been a lot of talk about two potential um, final Evo types. Uh, type, you know, you're going to have like a, a grass normal or what would make sense from some other replies here would be a grass fighting and then maybe something like a grass fairy or a grass fire that we're all kind of praying for i guess um so i would think that the female's probably going to have one line of final evolution and the male's going to have a final line of evolution with the female more than likely being centered around this this olive wreath with the black olives on it and maybe the male doesn't have the olives on it because Obviously, being a chicken reference in there, I guess chickens are the ones that have the eggs. The males don't have the eggs. So that kind of makes sense in my mind. Again, if we get more information on it to confirm a little bit more, which I'm sure we will, we'll cover it and we'll check it out. But there's been some interesting responses to this actual um leak or hint whichever one you want to call it and um, this one's from Zira I'm pretty sure that smaller from Pokemon Skull and Violet will have an olive wreath uh, in its evolved stage maybe it could be grass fighting type olive wreaths uh, were awarded for Olympic champions after all so that makes a lot of sense especially if there's two kind of strains there's a female Evo and a male Evo where the female just has the black olives the male doesn't but they both have the wreath uh, representing their kind of um, base form you know with that olive wreath and then ones for a champion which would make sense for a grass fighting type if we did have it for the the male type and it kind of gives a throwback to Gallade as well from that psychic type to the psychic fighting type so there's a lot of tie-ins there which they do like to do from previous generations moving forward into new ideas and things like that you know so that would make sense in my mind that would be the best thing to happen but I could also see like a Salanded combi sort of situation happening again where we only get a female form as the final and you can kind of it's a bit open-ended with the clue that we get from Ku. it's not really clear cut but that's what these riddles are meant you know they're not going to give you the exact answer they're going to leave it a little bit open so take this all with a pinch of salt nothing as I say has been confirmed yet but pretty much normally what Ku puts out is really quite spot on so that's the first one that we got today from ku and uh, like i said we do have that reference from the rooster the early bird ability as well on the small of uh, that does kind of give a little bit of a hint to a bird or a chicken or a rooster kind of reference as well so there is some connections there Right, moving on to the next one. Let's place our attention and sympathy on the least chosen one, the object Pokemon in Titan. Yeah, say farewell to Waifumon. Uh, the third means nobody cares, kidding. This is a three-stage riddle. We'll update three times in total to finish the whole game. Trainers could give it a shot. So this is the next kind of... I guess riddle revealing some information for a potential leak of scarlet and violet that we're going to get information on this is then followed up by this so this is the first part of three kind of riddles or teasers in in regards to what he's talking about uh, stage one long long time ago my puppy started a journey on the titan region so the titan region is basically referring to the region where this scarlet and violet is based it is said that she caught a cool pokemon but no one has ever seen it before a lot of rumors went viral someone said she caught a tapu koko to be continued and there's a picture of a tapu koko Ku then follows it up by the way this is a common riddle but covered with pokemon knowledge 
to disguise it. It's uh, super easy if you just got the three keywords, though I only wrote one, the other two will be in the two later stages. So in here, in amongst here, there is a keyword uh, that can be put together with two more keywords from the other two um, stages of this entire kind of riddle uh, that'll make up the, the answer for what he's referring to, which is going to be something that will be in Scarlet and Violet. So the the big, big hint here is the, the kind of type of cork or the rooster hint here. Again, another tie to a rooster reference as well, but type of cork has that rooster kind of look about it with it's, it's kind of like the hair, the, the headpiece that it has there. And also when it closes up its case, it looks very much rooster like, doesn't it? So there is a big kind of hint there with Tapu Koko on itself. Um, it's an object Pokemon as well. Obviously, Ku kind of confirming that in his previous tweet, object Pokemon. So that's what it's referring to an object Pokemon. So something like Aegislash is an object Pokemon, for instance. There could be references here to a totem with the tie into Tapu Koko, but I feel like it's more along the lines of the, the kind of rooster. Um, there's a lot of responses down here where people are talking about um, the, a reference to a rooster as well. This one in particular, and this ties in even more from a tweet that Masuda put out a little while ago uh, about Galo de Barcelos. Um, so this is the kind of motif for Portugal. It's a kind of national symbol for Portugal. Um, it's interesting that Masuda had posted this out. It is an object as well, so it kind of ties into the initial kind of tweet um, and leak. And the Galo de Barcelos, uh, the story is there is a Spanish man walking through uh, the Barcelos region. Um, he gets accused of stealing and he's put up on trial to be hung. Um, he pleads his innocence but can't prove it. Um, and the judge kind of is getting served a chicken dinner at the time. Says, uh, if you can't prove your innocence, the only thing it's going to save you is if this roasted chicken sits up and starts to crawl. Um, and there's a man's being led off to the gallows to be hung the rosa chicken sits upright and starts to crawl and then the, the spanish man set free so it's a it's a, it's a it's a symbol of like integrity uh, and all those kind of good things so that's basically a little bit about the object but it is a kind of national symbol and these games scarlet and violet being based off the the region of spain obviously and taking a lot of influence from portugal they're kind of next to each other anyway. It makes a lot of sense that this could tie in and be what Ku is referring to in his initial um, tweet about this. So we've obviously got two stages to come. We'll cover all the stages as they come out and we'll, we'll discuss the answer and see what the kind of evaluation is at the end of it. But I just felt like it was something worth covering in today's video because if you've got any ideas about it, it would be interesting to hear them. But I do feel like there's a very big tie in. Uh, Masuda does tend to drop hints on things, very obscure ones. And this feels like it could tie in quite well. So uh, Joe, for dropping this uh, very good kind of pick pick out from this um, post that Masuda put up a while ago. Right, so that's pretty much everything from Ku today and um, the leaks and things like that. Obviously, I will say as well that you can take everything with a pinch of salt because nothing's been confirmed yet. It is still a rumor until it's obviously confirmed. But I would say that Ku's tweets and uh, hints are very much very reliable and um, you're probably kind of safe banking on what he says to kind of come to fruition like I've already said in the video so uh, we'll see where they go but we'll follow these leaks with Ku because they're very entertaining as they come out and uh, we'll just end up on uh, Pogozo put a tweet out the other day uh, this is another leak um, or rumor analyst uh, very good in very good account and uh, if you're into the kind of leaks and rumors for Scarlet and Violet and theories and things like that definitely drop them a follow because they put out some really interesting content and uh, definitely things that kind of get you thinking about what potentially could be coming in these games but they did get the information confirmed about the file size for Scarlet and Violet which will be 10.2 gigabyte and um, it is going to be lower than Sword and Shield ignore the 12.7 gigabyte because that 
that figure there is combined with the two DLCs, so the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. So um, Sword and Shield is about 10.3 gigabytes, so Scarlet and Violet a little bit smaller, um, but it is a lot more than Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is the one I would probably reference from rather than Sword and Shield because of the time difference between these games coming out, and especially with Breath of the Wild as well, because you've got to think about the compression of these games, the technology of compression has come on a lot more. Pokemon Legends Arceus was a huge game, um, probably bigger than Sword and Shield, even with the DLCs, I would say probably. Um, so you can see the size difference between these two, it's nearly half, so the compression is probably a big, big factor in this. So I wouldn't let this number kind of worry you if you do see it. Um, and this is why I'm covering it in this video. I feel like, like Scarlet and Violet is gonna be a big game, but don't compare it to something like Sword and Shield because of the age of the two games, the technology has moved on. I feel like it's gonna still be a big game and I would reference the, the size of Pokemon Legends Arceus to it rather than anything else because it's so close to it in a kind of time frame basis. But that's everything for today, friends. I hope you found today's video interesting and some of the the leaks that Koo's put out are very very interesting so um i like this brigatito the two-legged and the small of kind of hints as well to that final evolution is extremely interesting let me know your thoughts down below i'd love to hear them if you've enjoyed the video as always please drop a like on the video uh, do subscribe to the channel because we will be making daily content of these leaks as and when they drop and making sure we follow everything in the lead up to Scarlet and Violet. Um, and it would be great to hear your opinions on them as well. I've given you mine through the video, uh, but it would be great to hear yours. So drop them down below and I'll look forward to reading through them when you do. But thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. More importantly than anything, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.